Okay, so we're going to cover off snake bite today. So Travis here has been out in the backyard doing some work in the garden. Also in the leafy, leafy area, it's been felt a bit of a scratch or bite on his hand. And when he's looking at his hand, he's got a couple of scratch marks, bite marks on his uh, wrist area. So if the snake bites in Australia, the recommendation used to be to use multiple of these brown heavy crate bandages. One starting at the bite site, second bandage starting at the tips of your fingers, right up to the top of your arm. These days, we've got a little bit more advanced and we have something called a snake bite bandage. So as you see on this bandage, when you pull it, the rectangles turn into squares, that indicates you've got the right pressure for this immobilization technique that we're talking about today. So what do we do? We start at the bite site, ensuring that Travis stays calm and relaxed and doesn't move around. We start at the bite, just get one or two wraps in place, just to hold the bandage in place first, and then pulling it nice and firm to get those rectangles turning square. Once you've got a couple of good wraps on there on the bite side, move right down to the tips of the fingers, tucking the thumb in, like so, right down to the tips, leaving just the fingertips out when you get there, like so, and then all the way up the arm as far as you can go. And what you'll notice is that I'm overlapping this bandage by half, all the way up, nice and firm. And the reason why it has to be firm is it could lymph node bandaging, because the venom in Australia enters in through your lymph node system before it goes anywhere else in your body. So it's very important to remain, keep your patient calm and bandage all the way up the limb as far as you can go. This bandage fully stretch gives you 10 meters of stretch. So you should have more than enough bandage to do on most people's arms and a fully grown adult leg. So we go all the way up, right up into his armpit. Okay, I just tuck this in, just under here to hold it in place for the moment. Okay, and then I get my splint, which is the immobilization. Now, if the person is going to have to be transported by sitting upright, it's a good idea to potentially bend that elbow there, bring it across their stomach and put a splint in place. However, if they're not going to be transported by a vehicle, uh, or they're going to be laid on a stretcher in an ambulance, then a straight um, splint will be perfectly fine. Now this one is made out of aluminium foam and it's great because you can size it up for the person's arm to suit their arm the most. And get Travis just to hold that there for me. And then with either another bandage if you've got one, or the leftover bandage of the really good bandage you just used, you can actually now hold that splint in place. Okay, so the next important thing is to mark the bite site. Go to Parent and Nico, bite was here. Because when you get to the hospital, they'll take a small cutting of that out, they'll take a swab, they'll test it to see what antivenin they need to use. There is no need these days to try and catch the snake, nor is it advised to do so, because that's likely when they're going to bite you is when you're chasing the snake to catch it. Most people get bitten, however, by trying to kill the snake. So if you see one, Step back, leave it alone, it'll go on its own way. If a snake is coming towards you, stand still. The still you are, the less likely they are to be aggressive or come towards you or try and attack you. He's now in place. This gives you a lot of time to sleeve. A few snake bites within a few minutes can do a lot of damage to you. With the pressure mobilization technique in place, it now buys you many hours before you require any additional assistance. So if you're being transported over a long distance, to get to a medical center, you now have that time. As remember always, call triple zero if you require assistance immediately, or 112 from any mobile in Australia. Advise them that you've got a potential snake bite and vermination. Tell them that you'll put the pressure mobilization technique on, and then provide your longitude and latitude using a compass on your phone. If you have any more questions or want to like to know more, go to www.cardiacsafe.com.au.